So the backup light's installed, but there's nothing to connect it to. The power wire's apparently been removed by a previous owner. So I've spent the last hour and a half or so tracing wires and trying to figure out how to get this fixed. And I think I got a plan here, so I'm gonna go ahead and document it for you. And uh, hopefully we'll boil an hour and a half down to a few minutes that way. So here we go. process starts with the wiring diagram that's in the repair manual and let me go over that for you for you really quick number 45 here that's the backup light switch which we'll see in the real world in a minute the color code here is LR which should be light violet with a red tracer but I think that's actually a typo and it should be RL and I'll show that to you in a couple of minutes so I think it's a red wire with a light violet really looks blue to me tracer so this switch closes when you put the car in reverse. I should say the power comes when the power is turned on. It comes from the accessory panel. When you put the car in reverse, then this light switch closes, and then the wire runs out and goes back to the backup light, which is right there in the, in the, in the circuit diagram. So let's go look at it in the real world. The uh, backup light switch is right here. I got the light shining on it. It's connected to the shift linkage that comes off the steering column. It closes when you put the car in reverse. And then here they are the power or the connector for that. I've got the input marked with plus 12 volts right here, and this is the output. I've got a cotter pin stuck in here, so we can do a continuity test in a minute here. But First, let me show you where it all goes. Um, that goes into a wiring bundle. That goes inside the v inside the cab, and it crosses behind the instrument cluster, and the fan, and the instrument panel, and it comes out over here. And here's our uh, red. Here's our wire right here. The red one with the blue or light violet tracer. That goes to a wiring bundle that goes down to the bottom of the vehicle into the passenger side frame rail. And here's where it comes out in the back. And here is where the previous owner clipped it off and then taped it back onto the wire bundle. So I've untaped it and I've got a test wire connected to it that we're going to use for a continuity test that comes all the way around back here. It's connected to my voltmeter, which is set up to do uh, continuity tests. And so if um, everything's working, if I touch this lead right here, we should get a tone, and we do. So if I hook everything back up, we'll have, and then you put the car in reverse, we'll have voltage all the way back to that corner. So the last thing I need to do is run a lead from here, a new lead to replace the one the previous owner removed under the rear cross member to our new backup light. Actually, it's going to go right in here, right there. So that's what I'm going to do next.
Okay, everything's wired up. Let's go give it a test, see if it works. And there you go. The backup lights are working, and that's our project for today. Thanks for watching.